consider teams of rescue personnel trying to locate a lost or injured person who was hiking or skiing in a remote area. Time is critical in such life-threatening situations. UAVs with their mobility characteristics can facilitate in timely rescue. The self-organizing intelligent network of UAV project Xenus aims to provide aid in such disaster scenarios. So the objectives of the Xenus project are to address and integrate the four key challenges of multi-UAV research. The first challenge is related to a single UAV, which should be able to autonomously fly over areas of interest. The second challenge is related to the capabilities of these single UAVs, which should be able to autonomously detect interesting events. The third challenge relates to reliable communication among multiple UAVs. And finally, the complete network of UAVs should be coordinated in order to achieve a common goal. The Sinus project provides uh, answers to these challenges in two ways. The first one is to uh, provide a theoretical framework of each of the four challenges. And the second approach deals with uh, a deployment of a multi-UAV system in disaster scenario applications. In search and rescue scenarios, we are using a heterogeneous set of UAVs. Robot operating system is used to facilitate the interaction between this heterogeneous set of UAVs. We have a specific target area that we're going to cover, and based on a pre-planned mission, we will follow a specific waypoints by each individual UAVs. These UAVs will fly to these specific waypoints and try to gather the required information from the target area. This information could be obtained by using sensors like a visual camera on board or other types of sensors as a thermal camera which can record a heat pattern. And as soon as a target object is detected, the UAVs will send its GPS location to the base station and hovers at the position. After the object has been detected and the detecting UAV is hovering above the object, a relay chain is formed using the other UAVs um, back to the base station. Till this point, the images of the detected object are transferred back to the base station, but as soon as the bandwidth is available because of the relaying UAVs, uh, we start um, video streaming back to the base station for the project, we are using the more flexible uh, networking, so ad hoc networking. We use the 802.11 as standard implementation, and for that we use the off-the-shelf available uh, network interface cards. Also, on the base station and on the UAVs, we implemented our own um, antenna structure, which provides omnidirectionality. The Xenos team at the Alpen Adria University and Lexa Labs, Klagenfurt, is focused on bringing about a change. It envisions a future where UAVs and drones would bring hope and happiness, not otherwise.